Hello everyone. We are going to be making some fluffy dumplings and I am going to use Old Faithful here, Bisquick. This is what we grew up on, fluffy dumplings made with Bisquick. So I'm going to make me some broth because I don't have any broth and I'm going to use this better than bouillon. Right here, better than bouillon chicken stock. So I've got me three quarts of water boiling right here. And I'm going to add about uh, four tablespoons of this better than bouillon. And let that go ahead and create me up a stock. Let's wash that right off. I'm going to put about, oh, about, it, it says, uh, one and a half tablespoons per quart. So I'm going to put about four heaping ones in here. Let that dissolve. That's going to be my broth that I'm going to dump my dumplings in. All right, so now I'm going to take about four cups of Bisquick and about one and one third cups of milk. And I'm going to mix this up for my dough. I'm going to bring my uh, stock over there, my boiling chicken stock. I'm going to bring that to a boil, and then I'm going to start dropping this by rounded teaspoons into the boiling water. All right, let me check my water here. All right, my broth is boiling, so we're going to go ahead and start dropping these by rounded i'm going to use this little thing here and i'm going to drop them right into the boiling thing and you want to do it fairly quickly because you want them all to cook about the same now we're going to drop them in there and then let these after we drop them in the boiling stew we're going to turn the fire down and we are going to cook them 10 minutes uncovered with the fire re reduced. And then we're going to cover them and cook them 10 more minutes. So we're just dropping them all in there. And I'm kind of made a double batch here because I'm taking them to church for homecoming. We're having homecoming today. So I haven't made these in a long time, y'all. I, I, I make a lot of times the noodle ones, but somebody asked me to make the fluffy ones. And I like them both, you know. I never met a dumpling I didn't like. So we're just going to get the rest of these into our stock here. Real quickly, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn this fire down. And we're going to cook them for 10 minutes. Just get the rest of it here. All right, I'm going to cut this fire down to about two or three. show you these this is what it's looking like we're just going to cut it down and let them cook here like that for 10 minutes all right we're going to go ahead they got about one more minute to boil i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper to them Let you see what they look like. There they are. They have about 45 more seconds to go on the first 10 minutes, cooking them uncovered. Now we are going to cover them up, and we are going to cook them another 10 minutes. So just go ahead and put your lid on, cook them 10 more minutes. 
All right, they got about one minute left. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the cover off and I'm gonna add a cream of chicken soup to it and just get that down in that hot broth. And that's just gonna give it a little bit thicker of a base and a little bit more flavoring. Since I didn't use real chicken broth today, normally I would cook the chicken and I'd have that good broth and the little pieces. So we're just gonna put a cream of chicken down in here and let that mix up in there. And that's gonna give it like a good little gravy for our dumplings. And I'm going to show them to you right here. Let me get that timer turned off. There's the dumplings right there, y'all. Don't they look good? All right, it's good and hot, but I'm going to cut into it and show you that it is dry. Dry on the inside. That's what you call a fluffy dumpling. When it's dry on the inside, wet on the outside that's a perfect dumpling right there y'all all right talk to y'all later bye bye